Poodle is the fifth most popular dog breed in the U.S. and is the national dog of France. They are well known for their intelligence and hypoallergenic coats. Despite their popularity, poodles are high-maintenance dogs. Grooming is one of the biggest challenges of owning a poodle. Their curly hair requires regular brushing and trimming. However, it's not very hard, and you can learn to do it yourself at home. All three sizes of the poodle have almost the same grooming basics and requirements. Poodles don't have fur, they have hair like humans. Their hair does not shed, keeps growing, and needs to be trimmed. They have a single layered coat which is thick and dense. Their hairs are curly which can easily become matted. The curly hairs of poodles require a regular brushing routine to keep them clean, smooth, and tangle free. Brushing is more beneficial than bathing when it comes to the health and appearance of a coat. If not brushed, their curly hair could become heavily matted and form curly cords. The long hair of poodles could easily trap dirt and debris, which can be prevented by regular brushing. Brushing also stimulates their skin to produce more oils, making their coat healthier and shinier. Early exposure to the grooming is essential to make them familiar with the process. Puppies need to experience brushing and trimming from a young age. They need to learn how to remain calm and firm on the grooming table. Start brushing puppies when they are about 10 weeks old. Brush them daily or every other day. Unlike the thick, curly coats of adults, puppies are born with soft hair. Their hair starts transitioning from puppy to adult hair when they are 9 to 18 months old. Puppies have sensitive skin, and you need to use soft brushes. Use them gently without scratching their skin. Make every session enjoyable and rewarding for them. Puppies are not familiar with the grooming tools and may resist but you can overcome this with praise and treats. Choose a quiet place for brushing where your dog will not be disturbed or distracted. The best time for brushing is when they are not feeling energetic, usually after a walk or exercise. It's recommended to use a conditioning or detangling spray on their coat. It softens their matted hair, making the brushing process much easier. Since poodles have curly hair, the first thing you need to do is detangle their hair. Use your fingers to remove knots and tangles. If there are severely matted hair, you can use scissors to cut them out. Use the tip of the scissors and make sure not to injure their underlying skin. Then use a pin brush and a slicker brush alternatively. Start brushing from the neck and work your way down towards their belly, chest, legs, and tail. Give short, smooth strokes in the direction of hair growth. Pay more attention to the areas where they have thicker furs such as belly, neck, and legs. Use the brush gently and avoid pulling their fur. At the end, use a bristle brush to take out any remaining debris and loose hair from their coat. A bristle brush adds shine to a dog's hair while spreading natural oils throughout their coat. Use a comb to brush the hair around the dog's face, muzzle, and ears. You can also use a comb for brushing their paws and tail. After the brushing process, it's very important to praise your dog and give him treats. Poodles have long curly hair, which are more prone to matting. They require regular brushing to keep their coat smooth and tangle free. The brushing frequency of a poodle depends upon its hair length and style. If a poodle has a short trim, it needs to be brushed two to three times a week. However, if the poodle has a long coat and is not trimmed, it needs to be brushed daily or every other day. This is because their long hair could easily become matted. Food plays a crucial role in the health and appearance of a dog's coat. If your dog has a dull coat, one of the main reasons could be its diet. Protein is the most important ingredient because a dog's hair is made almost entirely from protein. Poodles have long hair that keeps growing and this growth of hair requires protein. Any deficiency of protein could cause damaged or broken hair. Fats in the form of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids help in dealing with dry and dull coats. Give your dog a high-quality and well-balanced diet filled with all the vitamins and minerals. There are a variety of grooming tools available in the market. Buy those which are designed for the size of your poodle. Poodles have thick, curly hair and a slicker brush is the best tool for them. The basic purpose of a slicker brush is to remove knots, tangles, and loose hair from their coat. 
It has wire bristles that are placed very close, making it an excellent choice for removing matted hair. However, you need to use it gently. Be extra careful while using a slicker brush on puppies. A pin brush is a handy tool that is used for long-haired dogs. It's used for removing knots and tangles, but it's not as effective as a slicker brush. It also helps to collect and remove dirt, debris, and loose hair from their coat. It has widely spaced pins that provide a gentle and soothing brushing experience without pulling their fur or scratching the skin. A bristle brush is often used at the end as a finishing brush. It is used for removing debris and loose hair while also spreading natural oils throughout their coat. It provides a finishing touch by smoothing out their fur. Combs are very necessary for the curly hair of poodles. You need combs of different length and teeth spacing. They are often used for sensitive areas like the face, which could be poked by brushes. They are also used to brush hairs around the dog's muzzle, paws, and ears. Combs and scissors are often used in combination to clear out any knots and tangles. The curly, dense hair of poodles may also require a dematting or detangling comb. Poodles have thick and curly hair that doesn't shed, but this non-shedding trait comes at a price, and that is frequently brushing and trimming. Their hair keeps growing and needs to be kept short. This is because their long hair could easily form mats and tangles. If you want to trim your dog at home, you need certain tools for that. A dog hair clipper is the basic tool for trimming your poodle. There are a variety of canine clippers available in the market. Buy a good quality clipper that has different size blades. Check that the clipper does not make a loud noise and does not heat up quickly. Some of the other trimming tools are scissors, shears, comb, and a brush. You also need a grooming table or an elevated surface. It is required to handle your dog more easily. You need to make your dog comfortable with the clippers. If this is the first time using clippers on your dog, make them familiar with the touch and sound of clippers so that they don't resist during the process. Dogs are not familiar with these strange grooming tools that operate around their sensitive body parts, such as face, eyes, and ears. It's very beneficial to bathe and brush your dog before trimming. This helps get rid of dirt, debris, and excessive oil from their fur. It also removes tangles and matted hair that could be difficult to trim. You can trim their long hair in a variety of styles and haircuts. Among these, only two haircuts are acceptable for the Westminster Dog Show, and those are Continental and English Saddle Cuts. If your poodle is a common household dog, you can choose any easy-to-maintain haircut from these. Their grooming isn't that difficult, and you can do it yourself at home. You don't necessarily need the help of a professional groomer, which could be quite expensive, because poodles need frequent trimming. Poodles are water retriever dogs, and they are supposed to be playing and swimming in water. Most poodles are comfortable with water and enjoy baths. Baths are very necessary for dogs. It improves the appearance of their coat by removing dirt, debris, and bad odor. It's also beneficial for their underlying skin as it keeps allergies and parasites at bay. It's recommended to brush your dog before bathing. Brushing helps to remove tangles and matted hair that otherwise would be difficult to remove once the coat is wet. After getting wet, these tangles shrink and become more matted. Collect all the supplies that you need, such as shampoo, conditioner, towels, and a washing cloth or sponge. You can bathe your poodle in a bathtub. However, small-sized poodles can be bathed in a kitchen sink. Place a towel or non-slippery mat at the bottom surface to prevent your dog from slipping. The water temperature is very important. Make sure to use lukewarm water. Invite your dog to the bathtub using treats and an encouraging voice. Pour water slowly and make sure to soak his coat and whole body, except the head. His head and face should be washed at the end, because splashing water over his face will scare him and he may try to jump out of the tub. Squeeze some dog-specific shampoo and rub it over his coat. Start with the neck and work the lather down towards his belly, legs, and tail. Use your fingers or a washing cloth to massage the shampoo thoroughly until it reaches down to the skin. 
face should be washed at the end. Take special care of their eyes, ears, and muzzle, and prevent them from shampoo. Use a damp cloth to clean their head, face, and ears. Cover their ears with cotton balls. If water gets inside their ears, it could cause infection. It's very important to get all the soap out of their fur. Any soap residue can cause irritation and itching on their skin. You will have to double check and keep rinsing until the water runs clear. After rinsing completely, it's time to dry his coat. Take a clean towel and rub it gently over his whole body. If the weather is nice, you can take them outside in the warm sunlight. The long hair of poodles may take a long time to dry naturally. In such cases, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. However, you need to use a dog-specific hair dryer. Keep it at the lowest heat setting and hold it away from their skin. Don't aim at a specific area for a long time. You can use a good conditioner for the curly hair of poodles. A conditioner moisturizes their hair and makes it soft and smooth. It restores moisture to their hair and skin. Always use a dog-specific conditioner made with natural ingredients. Poodles have hair instead of fur. They need a shampoo that is designed for their thick, long, and curly hair. Choose the shampoo that is gentle, organic, and pH balanced. If your dog has allergies or other skin conditions, you can use a vet-recommended shampoo. Cheap and low-quality shampoos often contain harsh chemicals that can cause dry and itchy skin. Never use human shampoo or even baby shampoo on your dog. They have different skin and pH balance than humans, and it could irritate their delicate skin. According to the American Kennel Club, poodles need to be bathed every four to eight weeks. However, they may require more baths, and it depends upon their hair length and activities. Long-haired poodles require more baths than the short hair ones. If you are brushing their coat regularly and it appears clean, smooth, and odor-free, then you can postpone bathing for a while. If your poodle has a skin condition, you can increase or decrease the bathing frequency on the recommendations of a vet. Bathing should be done in moderation and according to their needs. Overbathing strips away their natural oils, leading to dry skin. Puppies should not be bathed unless they are at least 10 weeks old. Before that time, if required, you can wipe them with a damp towel soaked in puppy shampoo. According to the American Kennel Club, around 20% of dogs have some form of ear problems. Poodles are more prone to ear problems than other dogs because of the anatomy of their ears. Poodles have floppy ears, which means there is no proper air circulation inside their ears. They also have excessive hair inside their ears, which further blocks the air circulation. Because of this enclosed structure, their ears remain moist and provide a perfect place for bacterial growth. Ear infections are more common in dogs because of the unique structure of their ear canals. Dogs have L-shaped ear canals, which can easily trap dirt and debris. The floppy ears of poodles create a moist environment, which works as a breeding place for bacteria. Parasites, ear mites, and allergies are the three main causes of ear infections in dogs. Parasites, like yeast or bacteria, grow inside their ear canals and cause infections. Ear mites are very contagious and could transfer from one animal to another. Allergy is the main reason for a recurring ear infection in dogs. There are some signs of ear infection in dogs. If you notice a combination of these signs, take them to a vet for further inspection. Ear infections in dogs are easily treated if diagnosed early. However, if left untreated, it could cause permanent damage. Collect all the supplies you need, such as cotton balls, ear cleaning solution, a towel, and your dog's favorite treats. Make your dog comfortable by giving him treats and praise. Take a cotton ball, dip it in the ear cleaning solution, and clean the outside ear. Then squirt a few drops of ear cleaning solution inside his ear canal. Gently massage the base of the ear canal for some time. This helps to distribute the solution throughout the ear canal. Let go of his ear, and your dog will shake his head to get rid of the solution. Hold a towel to his ear to collect the solution and debris from the ear. At the end, wipe and dry the visible area of the ear with a cotton ball. If there is excessive wax buildup or a foul smell, 
Repeat the process two to three times. After the completion of the process, give your dog some treats and praise his behavior. Check their ears weekly and determine whether they need cleaning or not. Normally, dogs' ears are pink, odorless, and without any buildup of wax or debris. Look for obvious signs of ear infection. A bad odor from the ears is a clear sign that there is something wrong in their ear canals. The general rule of thumb is to clean their ears once a month. However, if your poodle has a history of ear infections, you can clean their ears more often. Your dog may also need frequent ear cleaning if he has allergies, ear mites, or spends a lot of time in water. Overcleaning is counterproductive and, in fact, it's one of the causes of ear infections in dogs. It could cause inflammation and irritation in their ears. Poodles have a lot of hairs inside their ears. These hairs can easily trap dirt and debris. They also disturb the airflow inside their ear canals keeping them moist and thus providing a breeding place for bacteria and yeast. It's required to trim or pluck these hairs. You need some ear powder or a hemostat to get rid of these hairs. Plucking these inside hairs is certainly not pain-free and may create wounds inside their ears, so you should do it only on the recommendations of a vet when they are creating a problem. Dogs have sensitive ears, and they need to be cleaned with specifically formulated ear cleaning solutions. Always use a dog-specific ear cleaning solution. Hydrogen peroxide or other homemade solutions often irritate their ears. Specially formulated solutions for dogs help to fight off bacteria and dissolve wax and debris. Dogs have L-shaped ear canals, and inserting anything inside will further push the wax or debris, potentially damaging their eardrum. Do not insert Q-tips or anything else inside their ears. Moisture is the main reason for ear infections in dogs. Moisture helps to create a breeding place for bacteria and yeast growth, which results in infection. It's very important to keep their ears dry after a bath or a swim. In the wild, dogs would naturally wear down their nails by walking, running, and scratching on rough surfaces. However, pet dogs don't have that lifestyle, and their nails need to be trimmed. Paws and nails are sensitive body parts, and dogs don't like them to be touched. Miniature and toy poodles have very tiny nails, and trimming them could be a challenging task. Long, overgrown nails could affect something as simple as walking. It disturbs their balance and walking style, eventually leading to joint problems. Long nails can break easily, exposing the area to infections. Their long nails could easily get stuck in a carpet or fabric resulting in the breakage of the nail. There is also a danger of ingrown nails if not trimmed on time. Nail trimming does not require a specific skill set. However, you need to be careful because if your dog gets a painful experience, he will be reluctant to the process in the future. If you are not comfortable, take them to a professional groomer and learn from him. Collect all supplies you need, such as nail clippers or grinders, cotton balls, styptic powder, and your dog's favorite treats. Make your dog relaxed and comfortable. If he keeps pulling away, you may cut his nail in the wrong place. Start trimming from the tip of the nail and look for the quick portion of the nail. Quick is the living portion of the nail and it bleeds if you cut it. So you need to trim their nails bit by bit until you come across the quick. After the completion of the process, praise your dog and give him treats. Trim their nails when they have grown long enough. The growth of nails depends upon their activity level. If your poodle has a lot of outdoor activities, his nails will grow slowly as compared to an indoor dog. The general rule of thumb is to trim their nails every two weeks. The best way to determine the time of nail trimming is by observing their walk on the floor. If you can hear the click sound of nails while walking on the floor, that is the time for trimming. The quick is the pink area of the nails. It contains blood vessels and nerves, which keep the nail alive and growing. If you accidentally cut the quick area and it starts bleeding, apply some styptic powder. It stops the bleeding. The quick portion is clearly visible in light-colored nails, but it's hard to find in dark-colored nails. In such cases, trim their nails bit by bit until you come across the quick. The structure and position of a dog's nail are different from those of humans. 
Humans have flat, while dogs have round, thicker nails. Always use a dog's nail clippers or grinder. Miniature and toy-sized poodles require clippers that are designed for small-sized breeds. Dogs, by nature, don't like their paws and nails to be touched. It's very important to make them used to it from a young age. You can start gradually by holding their paws, touching nails, and applying gentle pressure on nails. Make them comfortable with the touch and sound of nail clippers. Using praise and treats will help you a lot in this process. Nail filing and smoothing of rough edges is optional. If their nails have sharp edges, you can use a nail file to make them round and smooth. Dental care is often overlooked, but it's crucial, not only for their oral hygiene, but also for their overall health. Dental problems could shorten their lifespan by one to three years. If left untreated, the germs from periodontal diseases could enter the bloodstream and affect other organs, such as heart and liver. According to the statistics of the American Veterinary Medical Association, Around 80% of dogs have some form of periodontal disease by the age of three. Most dental problems affect them more during the first two to three years of their lives, and you need to be vigilant during those times. Small sizes of poodle, such as miniature and toy, often have more dental problems than the larger size. It's because of the anatomy of their mouths. They have small jaws, which are overcrowded by teeth. Their closely spaced teeth can easily develop plaque and tartar and are difficult to clean properly. Most of the dental problems begin with the development of plaque. When food particles get trapped in their teeth while eating, it provides a place for bacterial growth. The bacteria combined with saliva and food develops plaque. If not cleaned, plaque converts into tartar within days. Tartar starts infecting teeth and gums, leading to tooth decay gingivitis, and other periodontal diseases. Plaque buildup is the root cause of many periodontal diseases. Dogs accumulate plaque when they are not brushed regularly. Brushing their teeth is the most effective way of preventing plaque and tartar buildup, and thus preventing a number of periodontal diseases. White teeth, pink gums, and a fresh smell are the ultimate signs of good dental hygiene. Any disruptions in these indicate dental problems. There are some early signs of dental problems in dogs. It's the first sign of dental problems that does not seem serious in the beginning. A yellow or brownish discoloration of teeth indicates plaque buildup. It can be seen on the teeth and along the gum line. Red, inflamed, or bleeding gums are indications of gum issues. A bad breath is the most obvious sign of excessive tartar buildup and the incoming periodontal diseases. It's produced when bacteria decomposes food particles, creating a sulfur-like smell. Bad breath is an indication that bacteria are in the process of developing gum diseases. However, bad breath can sometimes be caused by other health issues, like liver or kidney problems. Dogs need specifically designed dental products that are tailored for their small mouths and weak gums. You can use a finger brush in the beginning, and once your dog gets used to it, Switch to a canine toothbrush. Choose a toothbrush that is appropriate for the size of your poodle. Toy poodles need a toy-sized toothbrush. Do not use a human toothbrush on your dog. Humans' toothbrushes are too large for their small mouths. Dogs need a canine's toothpaste, which comes in a variety of flavors and is even edible. A canine's toothpaste is formulated without harmful chemicals, as dogs could inevitably swallow some of it. Humans' toothpaste contains certain chemicals, like xylitol and fluoride, which are toxic for dogs. Ideally, you should brush their teeth daily, but if that's not possible, brush their teeth several times a week. Regular brushing helps to prevent plaque buildup and other periodontal diseases. Brush their teeth gently in a circular motion. Poodles have soft gums and teeth, so you don't need to brush them with force. Make sure to brush all sides of teeth, front, back, and top. After a successful brushing session, give him treats and praise his behavior. Before you start brushing their teeth, it's necessary to make them familiar with the process. Puppies don't understand the process and will not be cooperative in the beginning, but with time they will become accustomed to it. Start by opening his mouth and touching teeth and gums. In the beginning, 
You can rub their teeth with your finger. Praise and treats will help you a lot in making them comfortable with the process. There are a variety of dental cleaning products such as dental wipes, chews, and treats. These are specially designed to clean a dog's teeth while also giving him a fresh breath. These chews scrape off the plaque and tartar from the dog's teeth and also strengthen their gums. Choose products that are made from natural ingredients and are approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council. However, these products only work to a certain extent and are not a substitute for brushing their teeth. Besides regular brushing, poodles need a professional dental and oral cleaning at least once a year. A veterinarian will look for any dental problems that may have gone unnoticed, as well as a checkup of their teeth roots and gums. Senior dogs and small-sized poodles are more prone to dental problems and require more professional checkups.